Fusion Wi-Fi. Socially connected. Setting up your social media login accounts with Fusion Wi-Fi is simple. It gives you the opportunity to automatically collect likes and follows and ask your user to post about your business to their walls or tweet about you to their followers. We already set up the branding and look of our login page using a previous video. So let's see how the page looks without any social media login options configured. As you can see, only those options which are configured will appear on the landing page. It's highly recommended you configure all of these. So first, let's click on the Social Media Settings tab, which is visible on the top right of this Locations page under My Locations. Here, you are given a choice of five login options, four social media accounts and a basic data collection option for those customers who do not use social media. Let's start with configuring Facebook. Click Install under the Facebook icon to access the configuration settings. On this page, you input your Facebook page ID, some text that requests they like the page, and some wall post content which will appear on the landing page after they log in. Let's start by typing Please like our Facebook page into the top box. Now let's put our Facebook page ID in the box below. This should be your Facebook name or your ID number. The next field is optional. You can make the Facebook like compulsory, so that the customer must like your page in order to continue with the login process. This is a great way to collect Facebook page likes. Let's check it for now. Let's press add a social media provider and see how this affects our landing page. You'll see if I switch over to the landing page that the option to log in using Facebook has now appeared. If we head back to the settings, we can add a wall post that your customers can choose to share. Enter some text in the wall post content box and a message requesting a share. Save your settings for the moment. We'll see how these look at the end of the video. Let's configure Twitter in the same way. Go back to your social media settings page and install the Twitter option by clicking Install below the Twitter icon. This page is very similar to the Facebook setup, the only difference being that you should put your Twitter ID, including the at sign, into the fields marked. Let's do that now. You can add some tweet content and a message requesting a tweet. Remember, as with any tweet, you can input hashtags and tags here. Finally, click Add a Social Media Provider and refresh your login page. Both Facebook and Twitter will now appear. For Google and LinkedIn, there are no settings. You simply activate them by clicking Install and Add a Social Media Provider. Finally, for those users with no social media account, you can collect basic data. A name and email address is usually sufficient. If we click on Install under Basic Data, we can select the fields we want. So let's go ahead and select Name and Email Address and click Add Social Media Provider. You have now finished setting up your social media accounts. Refresh your login page to see. In order to see the Facebook post requests, let's log in and see what happens. Firstly, we click on Facebook login and are redirected to the Facebook like request page. As we have compulsory like switched on, the user must like your page in order to continue. If you turn it off, they have the option to skip and continue. Finally, once the user has liked your page, they are sent to the final landing page which contains your Facebook post text, giving them the option to share with their friends. When they click this, the post will be added to their wall and all of their friends will see that they are in your venue. There are more videos at www.fusionwifi.com forward slash videos.